Hey guys, Mike here from Envy Creative, and today we're going to be talking about the perfect TikTok camera. And like you just heard, we're going to go over the camera and setup we use to create TikTok videos for clients. We don't go through a ton of cameras here at the studio, but when we find cameras that we really like, we tend to hold on to them and repurpose them if possible, rather than upgrading and buying new stuff. And we've had this camera for over six years and it's still going strong. Now I did a video a while ago talking about whether the Canon C100 is still worth getting nowadays. One thing to remember is again, we're using this for TikTok videos and Instagram Reels for clients and for their commercials. For commercials that are meant to go on places like TV, YouTube, and even Facebook, we do use our bigger C200 that's all rigged out. So since we've been doing more TikTok video commercials for clients, we wanted to figure out a way to easily rig up a camera that we could just grab and start shooting with without having it be all rigged out, very big, heavy, and bulky that we could just grab and go. One of the things we love about our Canon C100, even compared to our C200, is it has a built-in screen, which means that we could just look at the screen rather than having it on an arm above. This makes it really easy when we're just shooting TikTok videos and we can just see the screen right from there. Now, if you're interested in recreating this exact setup, I'll just go through some of the details just so you know exactly how far you can push this camera. This camera normally comes with a top handle, which has a built-in microphone as well as two XLR ports. But again, because we're using it for TikTok and they're gonna be fairly close to the camera or maybe maybe even six feet away from the camera, then our shotgun microphone that we're using by Sennheiser is working just great for what we need it to. So we just have a cheese plate up top with a handle over here so that when we're actually filming, we can hold it by right here and actually our talent can hold it right here or underneath making it look like they're holding a phone. We're actually really surprised by how well this microphone works with this. Now this is the Sennheiser MKE 400 and we've used it maybe even when the talent is six feet away and the audio still comes out really, really good and really clean. You could get something like a Rode VideoMic NTG, but we're gonna go with this just because we're big fans of Sennheiser mics. Now this microphone is battery powered. It just takes two AAA batteries and you just turn it off and on by pressing this button right on the side. Now if you go into the audio settings on the camera, you can actually turn on the attenuator and set the microphone mode to automatic just to make sure that none of your audio will be peaking and the microphone just plugs into the 3.5 millimeter mic jack right on the side like that. We also have this other little piece on the side so that you can easily take off the handle and put it right back on if you really want to. One of the other really important things about getting a TikTok dedicated camera is to get a really wide angle lens. Because we're shooting commercials that's supposed to look like UGC or user generated content, we need a really wide angle lens to make it look like they're shooting it selfie mode from their phone. Okay, so right now I'm actually just holding the camera handle with my arm. So hopefully it looks like I'm taking a selfie video. So what we're using is the Canon EFS 10 to 18 millimeter lens. And one of the great things about it is it actually has autofocus and stabilization. If you don't know about the newer Canon cameras, they have some of the best autofocus that we've seen in cameras. And this is actually one of the first cameras Canon and made that's had their dual pixel autofocus. So unfortunately you can't set focus points anywhere else in the frame except for in the center. But again, if you're doing TikTok videos, most likely you'll be in center frame and you'll get crisp, clear focus. On the back of the camera, you have dual SD card slots. And how we have this set up is we have a smaller card right here in slot A, which is normally a 64 gig card. And in slot B, we have a larger 128 gig card. That's actually a backup card and records all footage from everything that we shoot until it fills up. So that way, in case we accidentally don't dump a card, then we can go back into the backup footage and we know that it's safe in there. One of the other great things about the camera is it actually has built-in neutral density filters. And what that means is if you're in very bright sunlight, you can actually just turn on the ND filters. I think there's six stops on here so that you don't need to mess with your shutter speed or your ISO or your f-stop. Speaking of f-stops, this is not a very fast lens when it comes to depth of field. This can go down to 4.5, which doesn't give you a great depth of field because it gets so wide. The Canon C100 is known to have a very long battery life, and that correlates with the codec that the camera shoots to, and that's AVC HD, which lets you shoot a lot of footage without using up a ton of space. It also can shoot in C-Log, which is Canon's log format, which lets you be able to play with the colors a little bit more. You don't have to use it because this has 
has pretty good Rec. 709, which is kind of the standard profile that you're used to seeing on YouTube and on TV. And it also has things like zebras, which basically tells you if your shot's overexposed so that you can dial in the settings. Before we keep going, guys, we work really hard to put all these videos together for you guys so that we can give you as much information as possible. So if you want to keep receiving videos like this, feel free to subscribe. And if you like this video, feel free to give it a like. We post every day on our Instagram channel showing behind the scenes of what we do here at our studio. So feel free to follow us over on Instagram. Here are a couple commercials that we recently shot with this camera and with this setup to show you just how it works. What the? I swear to God, I'll get a divorce. Wait, wait, wait! What's the point of posting a thirst trap if you can't see who's been caught by it? That's why I use InReport, where I can get a clear report of who interacted with my profile. So as you can tell, we really love this setup that we got going for our TikTok commercial videos for clients. It's super easy, it's grab and go, and our clients love it because they get the same TikTok feel, but they get it in a professional video format. And it does look better than shooting from your phone because it does look a little more cinematic coming from an actual camera, not a phone. Thanks so much guys for watching. And if you have any questions about anything that you saw in this video, feel free to leave it in the comments and we'll catch you in the next one.